You know what that music means. It's time for Geek Beat and the, ge and the Geeks Dancing. But this morning, we have only one geek. We've got Bert Lum joining us remotely this morning. We've got a couple of local efforts to keep students connected about. That, that's what you're talking about, right? Uh, right this morning, Bert? What, what's up with that? Yeah, how's it going, Guy? Good morning. Uh, yeah, you know, so what, what's happened with uh, a lot of the shelter-in-place uh, reality that we now live in, uh, everybody, you know, is either working from home or trying to do education at home. And one of the gaps that has been really sort of exposed, you know, the spotlight has been shown on families that, that don't have Internet access. So there's an effort that's being put together uh, by a nonprofit called uh, Hawaii Kids Can, and they're actually putting a Wi-Fi access point on a bus and getting it out to some communities that don't, you know, have internet access. So uh, they're taking it out to Waianae, Nanakuli, that's one area, and they're also going out to uh, Ka'u and uh, areas on the Big Island that uh, don't have internet access. So uh, they're taking this out uh, on the bus. It's kind of similar to some uh, activities that are being um, similarly done in Texas and Indiana, Ohio. Uh, and of course, this is a temporary solution, but you know, for the, for the time being, you know, for students that don't have access, uh, this is, you know, a good way to actually get uh, get them connected. Wow, that's awesome, Bert. Uh, there's another one called Hawaiian Hope. What, what's that about? So, you know, when you think about uh, families that maybe don't have Internet access, the likelihood is that they probably don't have a computer either. <laughs> so what Hawaii Hope, Hawaiian Hope is, is doing is uh, they actually get a bunch of uh, computers donated to them from corporations in Hawaii. And, in, and throughout the course of the year, they, they actually refurbish them. They put uh, hard drives, RAM, and then they get them all uh, uh, in, in you know, perfect working order. And then they get them out to communities and families that don't have computers. So the combination of both of these, whether it's Internet access or getting computer hardware uh, out to the families, is kind of an important piece of making sure that these students are connected. So at least they can participate in whatever distance learning or you know, um, digital inclusion that uh, happens, you know, now that they all have to be basically sheltered at home. So, you know, it's a cool project, Hawaiian Hope. Uh, you know, they're spearheading the, the refurbishing and distribution of uh, computer hardware. Wow, both great stories. Now, uh, so what's going to happen with uh, Hawaii Public Radio? What you, what you got going for that? So, so tonight on uh, HPR1, we're going to be talking to uh, a UH um, uh, sort of accelerator mentoring program that uh, they are helping UH uh, ideas actually come to fruition. And so one of them uh, is um, called uh, uh, New Futures, and they take indigenous innovation and try to you know build companies out of that. Uh, another one is called Hatch, which is an innovation uh, accelerator out over on the Big Island that kind of focuses on aquaculture. So we're going to be talking about taking homegrown ideas and making them into sort of the new economy of Hawaii. All right, good stuff. Bert Lam, thanks again. It's the Geeks. Thanks. Geek, geek. Yahoo! Give our best to Ian. We'll be right back with more Sunrise. Yeah.